Okay, today we are going to approach one of the most daunting vegetables that there are, the globe artichoke. People look at them and they go, oh no, no, I'll leave that to eat when I go out to a restaurant. But it really isn't that hard if you know how to tackle it. So when you buy the artichoke, look for fresh leaves. And then what I've done here is I've just scissored the tops off because they're quite prickly. It is a thistle. And you wonder, well, why do I want to eat it? Because when you get to the center of it, it is just so remarkably delicious. You wonder why you don't have them all the time. So what we've done is we've boiled these whole in acidulated water, meaning water that has vinegar or lemon juice or any acid to it. We've drained them, blotted them, and then we're going to take it on its end, a very sharp knife, and start at the tip and cut it in half. So what's exposed now is this incredible inside. What we don't want is this thistly, thorny part. When you look at it carefully, you see this beautiful mauve part, but what it is, is it's the thistle. I take a, just a basic grapefruit spoon, and then I just go in, and right where the bottom starts, we're just gonna grab that and take it out. It's, you can still see this part, it's still thorny, and you'll feel it, it's quite prickly. Yeah, you see that? And what's left is a very clean cavity, like so. So I'm going to just put a little bit of salt on this, like so, both sides. And it's going to go into a beautiful non-stick fry pan with a little bit of oil in it, and they're going to brown up. Now, there's nothing more that could make a artichoke tastes better than a good roasted garlic aioli. So we're gonna work on that right now. What you need for a, a, a garlic aioli is two heads of whole garlic roasted in the oven. They end up looking like that, beautiful and caramelized and tender. What that does is it takes that harshness of the garlic and it softens it and it makes it almost sweet. For an aioli, you can use basil, you can use garlic, you can use pretty much anything you want. The process is an emulsion, an emulsion of a yolk, Dijon mustard, lemon juice, and of course, olive oil. So these stick blenders are good for when you're making gravy and stuff like that. It's like a little beater, an electric beater. So what we're gonna do is we are going to put in all of our ingredients. The base ingredients, which is the Dijon, the egg yolk, the roasted garlic, and if you wanted to put basil in, go ahead, lemon juice. Now, this is half of a lemon, the juice of half a lemon. I'm only gonna use half to start because once it's in, you can't take it out and then we can adjust. I'm putting this in here and we're just gonna mix that up. What we're doing is we're mixing the egg with the Dijon, then very slowly and not all at once, dribble by dribble, in is going the olive oil, little by little. If you are too fast with it, it will separate. So you're just dripping in slow, 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 slow. And keeping that motor running, you can see it's really just a mayonnaise is what I'm making. We're gonna give it a little taste to make sure that we don't need more um, lemon juice. And we're certainly gonna need some salt. Definitely not more lemon juice, but we certainly need salt. Okay, we'll stir that about. And now we've got our artichokes that will be beautiful and golden brown. Look at that. That is actually exactly how we want it. The little cavities are just crying to have them filled with the aioli. So we're going to carefully spoon the aioli in the center, just like so. And then to eat it, you pull the fronds off and dip it in the aioli and slide it through. The very first time I was served this, I was dumbfounded. I was about 18 years old, I didn't know what to do. And remember that saying, when in doubt, do not speak up. D to remain a fool, do not speak up and remove all doubt, follow suit. I didn't, what, how do you eat this? So, you simply pull off the frond, that's the part there. You dip that into the aioli, you slide this through your teeth, like that, and this is inedible. But that's how you serve whole artichokes, roasted garlic, aioli, and it's simple, but it just takes a little bit of expertise. 
For these recipes and more, go to our website, gourmetwarehouse.ca, where you'll see everything that you need to create this dish.